Hello, hi everyone. Today I came with a new concept uh, called how to set the record trigger flow execution order. So first, uh, before going to the concept, I'll just explain the which scenario we have to set the execution order for the record trigger flows. Okay. So let's assume. Uh, you want to update a account on a case you are writing a flow but before that on a case you don't have an account number but you want to be write some account you want to be uh, build some logic to populate the account number on a case let's assume the account number is coming from external system or the account number is uh, building based on some algorithm logic like uh, based on the case location the case first name or main last name or something okay so the logic is, is has to be execution first to find out the account and then second uh, e execution has to be done the logic for the finding the account and updating on the case so to find the account we need account number right so the account number logic is to execute first and then case execution no, sorry case updation and finding account execution has to be work second right so how system will knows which trigger is execution first and which trigger is execution second so for that we can set the order number for each and every record trigger flow so that is the concept i'm going to explain today uh, i hope you understood the example the example is simple uh, in a first flow uh, the logic has to be uh, built for the build the account number and the second flow is find the account using the account number and updating the case so both has to be executed first and second so let's jump on to the demo so uh, how how to set is you have to go from the setup and find for flows you come you once you come to the flow there is a button called flow trigger explorer okay so in this uh, you just uh, select your object that may be account or that may be case any anyone either customer standard any object will be visible here and then select the which when it is it's at create or update and delete so my scenario create scenario i have a two triggers okay i have a two triggers uh, in these two triggers i want to be update uh like a order which has to be executed first it is in second which is has to be executed in second it is in first so okay so i'll just click on the edit order so that i can drag and drop up and down wherever at the execution order in my situation here we i have only two flows uh many places it may be a more than two uh, that may be a four or maybe five yeah you may have one question usually is that best practice uh, keeping a multiple record trigger flows on a single object yes it's not but some scenarios we have to create ma multiple record trigger flows or some scenarios the trigger flows will come from the managed package right so that's why we can arrange the orders okay order of execution so once you click on edit order you can change here uh, that may be a like fast field update also you can set the order that is edit option there is no flows for me that's why it is disabled uh, even for the action and record related records updation also you can change the order but asynchronous you will not like uh, these will be, asynchronous will be executing here parallelly right like all that all the flows will be execution in a single uh, different different transaction not in a single transaction right so that's why uh, there will be no order is given okay i uh, so once you change the 
order just click on update so that uh, this will be yeah just it is saying uh, uh, this the update trigger uh, will we start from the 500 uh, so that's fine let it update okay uh, so the trigger of execution order will be the change now correct so similarly you can change for any account and you can change for any uh, record update also record deletion also like some places the deletion example i'll give some places before deleting you have to note it down some tracker right so in that situation also you can uh, before uh, deleting a option you can execute uh, some other logic to delete to find uh, the record is uh, exactly the criteria matching for delete or not that logic has to be executed first and then yeah so this is a way you can set the order uh, i hope you understood the concept of what i'm trying to explain here uh, if you understood please uh, like the video and then uh, please uh, do share uh, who, who knows the salesforce who worked on the salesforce development oh so thank you thank you so much and uh, still you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe so there will be uh, i'm going to start uh, some uh, see uh, some series like apex series flow series so if you support me i'll do start the series also thank you thank you so much